Hey everybody, we're going to go through a technique exercise that's one of my favorites. It's the G major scale played with triads using our 5 fret span. So for this exercise, we're just going to stay between the 3rd and the 7th fret. It's going to help us improve our dexterity, get out of that 4 fret span business, and uh, learn how to play triads with a couple of different fingering patterns. So first I'm going to play the exercise for you, and then we'll break it down. And if you'd like to get tab or notation or the proper fingering patterns for this particular exercise, check out my Patreon page or my True Fire channel and you can find it there. Alright, so here's the exercise. So let's talk about the exercise. So we're in the key G major, which means we're only going to use the notes of the G major scale. G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, and G. We're going to keep going just a little bit. The highest note that we play is going to be this D here. Um, but everything is in the G major scale. Everything is within our 5 fret span. You'll notice that I play everything on the 3rd fret with my 1st finger that my second finger is around the fifth fret, and that my pinky is on the seventh fret. Now you will see at the, uh, in the latter part of the exercise that my first finger is going to be going over here to the fourth fret. So in order to play this exercise, we're going to learn about triads. Naturally within the G major scale, if we follow the rules of diatonic harmony, that means we build a chord off of each note in the scale, and those chords happen to either be major or minor, or possibly diminished. We'll figure that one out soon. Um, but what it means is that if you're playing a note and it's not in the G major scale, it's not the right note. Everything just involves these notes. Okay, so um, as we do this, we're going to see that certain triads are major and certain ones are minor. Our G major triad, our first one, is going to be major. The next triad is going to be A minor. Third scale degree, we have a B minor triad. On our fourth scale degree, a C major triad. And then on our fifth scale degree, a D major triad. On our sixth scale degree, an E minor triad. And then on our seventh scale degree, we're going to have a, an F sharp diminished triad, meaning we have both a minor third and a flat fifth. And then to round it out, we're back to a G major. So when you play this exercise, you're going to play the triads each ascending on the way up, so 1, 3, 5, as we go up the scale. And then when we turn back around, when we descend, we're playing everything backwards, 5, 3, 1. So the great thing about this is it helps your brain and your ears and your hands get used to playing triads, both ascending and descending. You get used to playing both major, minor, and diminished triads, and you get to learn a couple different fingering patterns. So you'll see that while a C major triad, I'll play like this. I'm playing my first finger, my pinky, and then my second finger here. The next triad is a D major, and while it is a major triad, I play it in a very different way. So you uh, get to learn two different patterns. Either way, it's a major triad. So that's pretty cool. All right, so one other thing. If you're practicing this exercise, I highly recommend you do so with a metronome. Um, that way you can click, turn it on. It'll click for you, set it and forget it. If you are practicing with a drum machine because you really don't want to work with a metronome, I get it. Um, just make sure that you're going to set the meter to either 3-4 uh, time or 6-8 time because this is something that uh, we're playing in triads, we're playing three notes at a time, it's got that same feel, and the meter that you practice with should reflect that. Alright, so I hope you found this exercise useful. Again, if you'd like to get either notation or tabs for it, you can find that on my Patreon page or on my Truefire channel. And uh, I hope that this was great for you, and happy practicing!